Hi guys, today I will be sharing how to make chocolate mango float cake. For the ingredients, we need 4 ripe mangoes, 600 ml of whipping cream or all-purpose cream. I use 2 packets of chocolate graham crackers, but you can use honey as well. And then 1 can or 395 grams of condensed milk. To begin, we're just gonna slice the mango into a... Um, thin pieces just like this I have one extra mango just in case um, now we're just gonna um, whip the cream until it forms soft peaks as, as soon as you can see that there's soft peaks forming we can add the condensed milk make sure to get all the condensed milk from the can and then we can start um, beating again until it thickens up just like this at this point we're ready to assemble the cake so I've got a spring form pan here, which is 10 inches, um, lined with parchment paper on the side and on the bottom. So I've got the mango, the cream, and the graham crackers. So now I'm lining the bottom of my um, spring form pan with the chocolate graham crackers. Just like this, and now we're ready to add the cream. So we're gonna add the cream enough to cover the entire um, graham crackers. Not so thin. And now we're gonna start layering the mango on top of the cream. Any direction will do as long as you um, cover the entire cream. Just like this. So I've layered the second one with graham crackers as you can see in the video but when I finish layering this I am um, changed my mind because I want to create a design and to um, strengthen the structure of this cake with graham cracker on the side so just divide the graham crackers into three there's a line in there that will guide you so just stand it up on the side of the cake this will also serve as a support to the cake. So do this all the way around the um, spring form pan. Just like this. And then we'll just continue um, putting graham cracker on the top of the mango. So at this point, the, um, the procedure is just repetitive. So we're going to put the graham cracker until we cover the entire um, surface of the spring form pan, just like this. And then we're going to add cream again. And then another layer of mango a layer of graham crackers cream 
stream again. Mango. And then layer of graham crackers. And then finally um, the cream. On this last part of the cake i'm gonna change things a little bit so after the last layer of the graham crackers and then cream and then instead of mango i'm gonna crush um the um, remaining graham crackers and then put these on top of the cream Just like this and then the mango and then this will go in the freezer to um, set up for four hours or overnight so I let mine sit in the freezer overnight and then now I'm just releasing the spring form pan And then take the parchment paper at the bottom and then just to um, finish the design of the cake I've got whipped cream put it in a piping bag fitted with um, Wilton 2D um, piping tip so I'm just creating swirls on top of the cake going around and then I've got um, chocolate chips here that I'm putting on each rosette this is optional you don't have to do this And this is the finished product. And just to show you what it looks like inside when you slice the cake. I hope you give this a try. This cake is so good, so easy to make, only takes me about an hour to make the cake the only hard part is waiting for this cake to set and that's what it looks like inside you can see clear layers of cake all in all I have four layers of graham cracker cream and uh, mangoes again thank you so much for watching I hope you give this a try I promise you're not gonna be disappointed making this thank you and see you again next week bye